here. We'll loop it as well to get a better idea of movement as this continues to move through. So you're looking at Thompson here, Galena, as this continues to move into northern Illinois, northwest Illinois there. You may see some of those inflow notches there as this continues to proceed and move northeast. About 55 miles an hour active tornado warning at the moment. If you are within Joe Davis County, make sure you are getting into your safe space. There is an active tornado warning right now. Doesn't expire until 915. This is your call to action. Move away from the windows, get below ground if you have a basement, if not the lowest room of your uh, home there, interior as well. You want to put as many walls between yourself and the outside as possible. We could see some power outages as well, get some blankets or uh, bike helmets, anything to protect yourself as we continue to see this moving through. So right now we are tracking an active tornado warning, not just for Joe Davis County at the moment. It has now been extended into all of Carroll County, also including most of Whiteside County. This is a very pow powerful line of storms. It's been racing through Iowa all morning as we continue to watch this line of activity. So at the moment, this is where we are seeing some of this. We'll put a squall on this to give you an idea of timing and who may be up next when it comes to that leading edge of those storms. Again, it is moving to the northeast at about 55 miles per hour. In terms of who's up next, looks like Sterling about 850, Freeport 857, uh, Oregon about 904, Pecatonica 906, places like Rockford 916, DeKalb 921. So over the next hour, this is gonna move through Northern Illinois, bringing us these severe threats, especially for those further to the west of I-39, so it does include most of our area. As of right now, I'll bring you back to uh, that map with all of the warnings that we are currently looking at. The red, of course, is your tornado warnings for most of Joe Davis County, all of Carroll County, and all of Whiteside County. For Joe Davis County, this is for radar-indicated rotation. We may start to see some activity moving in, and there is a potential for a tornado to drop down. So that's why we are under that warning until 915. This is your time to take action. This is only going to continue to move further to the east. So those of you within Stevenson, Oval, and Lee County as well, you are all up next with a severe uh, thunderstorm moving through. So if this tornado warning is going to get extended into these counties, it's uncertain yet and I don't have much word from the National Weather Service. However, we are going to continue to track this. Uh, we can take a look at our roof camera right now. As this line of thunderstorms is approaching, you could just see how dark it is there. So we're seeing the wind sway a little bit. Really not a whole lot going on here back at home just yet in terms of our roof camera here in Winnebago. But that severe thunderstorm is moving in. Now switching over to our Rockford camera. Same thing, ominous looking clouds. I mean, this is just out ahead of that entire line of stronger storms. So this is really your time to prepare. This is moving in. New severe thunderstorm warning just got issued for Stevenson County. Again, it looks like we have a brand new severe thunderstorm warning for now all of Stevenson County. So we are still tracking those stronger thunderstorms moving through as they continue uh, to move in. So as of right now, we are seeing some slowing of this line. I do have an update here from the National Weather Service. So it's going to continue to move closer to Lee County, arriving a little after 9 o'clock, along with Oval County. So be prepared. Again, this is all moving towards our area as we speak here. So there is still that active uh, tornado warning in effect right now for Joe Davis, all of Carroll, all of Whiteside County, now approaching areas within Lee, Ogle, and Stevenson County. Let's get you quick into uh, right now the radar loop to see exactly how this is all moving. At the moment, we are currently seeing again this active severe warned um, system that is bringing us these warnings. So at the moment, we are still seeing this active uh, moving through the area. And again, if you are within Joe Davis, Carroll, or Whiteside County, now is your time to get into that safe space. Near thunderstorms capable of producing perhaps both tornadoes and extensive straight line winds located along a line extending from uh, portions of well, northern, northeast portions of Iowa, stretching down along the Mississippi River there, on down into the Quad Cities region. And again, the hazards of this tornado have 
dollar size tail a possibility too. So the impact, flying debris could be a possibility and also looking for the potential of maybe some hail damage as well with the potential of seeing that half dollar size hail with these. These storms are slowly moving to the east. Again, right now at about the 35, 40 mile per hour range, but this is certainly a line of showers and thunderstorms. We're gonna watch very closely as we now put into account their far southwestern portions of Stevenson County tornado warning. It's radar indicated, but don't let your guard down with this. Certainly wanna stay weather aware, have ways that you can get the very latest information, both on our weather app, WIFR.com. We'll be seeing 60 mile per hour winds right here in that lighter shade of pink. Uh, so we're going to continue to monitor that as well. Here's a look at uh, maybe some rotation that is just uh, moving into uh, southwestern Wisconsin. So that could be moving into Greene County as we get into the next hour or so. Uh, but so far there's been a good minute. So <laughs> let's find Whiteside County. They seem to be trimming that as they get closer. Uh, towards uh, Ogle and Lee County. That will run until 9.15. And then going into uh, Stevenson County, that one is going to be running until 9.30. So come out and enjoy a hot chocolate. For late morning hours, this line should be pushing through those areas, Stevenson, Ogle, and Lee counties. So we're going to continue to track that as we carry on into the next uh, couple of hours here, George. I'll send it back to you. Thank you. And an important message to folks, if you have family in that area, probably a good idea to reach out to them just in case they're not watching this coverage. Uh, let them know, take precautions, get away from windows. Joey's going to have more on this weather when we come back. For the Mississippi, and here's what re reflection looks like right now. We are tracking that active threat, again, even potentially extensive straight line winds associated with this. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a tornado or rotation, but this is the line of thunderstorms just across the Mississippi. Moving through about half of Joe Davis County at the moment, we do have that brand new severe thunderstorm warning issued for Stevenson County. Let me get you the details to see uh, if we also have any updates from the National Weather Service as well, as we do have that brand new severe thunderstorm warning issued for uh, Stevenson County now. So as far as Stevenson County goes, it does look like we are currently seeing that storm uh, moving at about uh, 55 miles an hour east, 60 mile per hour wind gusts. This is the same kind of strength we saw just on Tuesday. That resulted in trees down, uprooted, power lines down as well. I'll loop this to give you a better idea of that movement of this entire line, but that's the same kind of strength we are talking about. Not only that, but there has been radar indicated rotation within Joe Davis County. This is going to continue to move through. So not seeing any warnings right now for Lee or Ogle County. But regardless, this is on its way. It may be slowing some, but it still has that energy and steam with it as it moves through. So if you are within Joe Davis, Carroll, or Whiteside County, now is your time to act. We are seeing an active tornado warning, radar indicated rotation. It doesn't expire until 9.15. Now is your time to take action. Get away from the windows, below ground, the lowest room you have in your home if you don't have a basement. The goal is to put as many walls between yourself and the outside as possible. If you have a mobile home, seek shelter immediately. That's not a safe spot to be in, nor is a vehicle. If you are within some of the counties uh, that are having this activity moving closer to it, this is also your time for action. All of this is just moving east getting closer to the rest of our county areas. But I'll send it back over to Nanny Sofian. Claudia, thank you. And our viewers are just tuning in. Our, our weather authority meteorologist, Claudia Olek, has been tracking that storm system since early this morning, all the way to hit central Iowa and that um, western part of Iowa. All reaching now into the state line, she just mentioned, if you're in those counties, Carroll, Whiteside, and Joe Davies, please do take cover. You're under that tornado warning. Now, let's take a live look from our downtown Rockford cam, and we are seeing that storm rolling here into the state line. We're seeing a lot of cloud cover into the area. We're seeing slowly creep into our morning commute. We could see more activity as our morning progresses. Claudia did mention that, that, tornado, uh, that severe 
thunderstorm warning that we're seeing in free and in, in Stevenson County right now. Let's take a live look from our station here in Winnebago County. We're still seeing those dark clouds rolling in. We are not seeing any rain as of yet and no wind. We're seeing those trees there still still. It's of ice cream in case you're wondering. Oh, and that's usually one of the crates. We haven't had any indication that that tornado is continuing. We'll uh, take a look at velocity in a couple of minutes. We'll see that this tornado warning that includes southern and southeastern Whiteside County. That is going to be running until uh, 9.15 or so. So that